Okay, my name is Tony Gratson, and I'm the government sales manager at Ford Motor Company, and we're here at the Michigan State uh, Vehicle Police Test um, with Police Magazine. And this is our second uh, police interceptor vehicle, and it's our police interceptor utility. And it was revealed back on September 1st, and it's being run today uh, in an all-wheel drive configuration with a 3.5 liter TIVCT engine. Uh, here at the track. So we're going to get performance data and acceleration data uh, later. Okay, the, the uh, Ford Police Interceptor utility vehicle comes with a V6 engine and it's our next generation 3.5 liter TIVCT engine that gets 285 horsepower as compared to 250 horsepower in the Crown Victoria. And this engine will have better, this vehicle will have better performance than the Crown Vic, and that engine will get you great horsepower as well as V6 uh, fuel economy. And we believe that this car will have a broad reach of application, including patrol use on, and patrol. And you can see how this vehicle, based on its size um, and shape, could be used for that type of application. The, uh, both, the, uh, both of our vehicles that are here today are going to be uh, police rated vehicles or pursuit rated and that's their, why they're here at the test and the uh, police interceptor utility will be the first uh, utility vehicle that is a four-wheel drive that will be uh, pursuit rated so um, our Ford Motor Company now will have a broader reach of products with both our sedan and our utility police interceptors Go ahead. all right this is the police interceptor utilities interior and as you can see, we share the police seats common with the sedan. And in this case, the um, steering wheel is not the final version, but this is a closer version of what you're going to see in the new um, utility interceptor. Um, you can see the uh, column shift. And again, the aftermarket equipment is all installed to complete the vehicle, but we'll have nine inches between the seats uh, for installation of the aftermarket equipment. And also on the instrument panel, you could see the mounting plate um, for the radar. So again, maximizing the space of the uh, front uh, compartment area for the officer, both uh, comfortably and being able to do uh, his or her job. All right, this is the uh, interior of the Police Interceptor Utilities cargo area. Um, our engineers um, put equipment, aftermarket equipment inside just to show the utilization of the space. Um, you can see a wire mesh cage as well as some storage shelves. And underneath the, the floor tray here is where the full size spare is located. And you can see uh, we put the spare in a bag just for uh, ease of pulling the spare out of the this trunk area as well as some storage compartments as well. So this is one way that um, uh, the cargo space can be used in the sport uh, utility, uh, in, um, in the police interceptor utility. Um, also I wanted to mention that for both the uh, police interceptor utility and sedan, they both meet 75 mile hour rear crash uh, standards. And uh, Ford is dedicated to, provide, to providing the sa safest police interceptors and uh, the Crown Victoria meets that standards so we designed our new interceptors to meet that same 75 mile hour rear crash standard. Um, our police interceptors uh, we have received uh, comments uh, from all sources but I just wanted to point out our police advisory board. Uh, we have a board uh, member group of 27 uh, fleet managers from all across the country at all levels of government from state police to county sheriffs to city police and even a couple small cities and these men and women and also the federal government too, a couple federal agencies and these men and women have been uh, in place for the last couple years helping us with the design and the development of our new interceptors so many of these features that I mentioned today um, they had come from the police advisory board members giving their recommendations to the Ford engineers as we designed our new interceptors. So as we talked about the, the suspension system, the braking system, the interior design, and um, all of those inputs have been given to the engineers and Ford is now producing, will be producing and designing the uh, new police interceptors in this way. So invaluable input. 
We've also been out to numerous trade shows around the country with the new police interceptor sedan and have been showing it to customers as well, receiving their inputs for um, other ideas that uh, we can help make them a better police interceptors.